Speaking of confetti, I don't know if we'll see any for the Sixers. Uh, oh. see how this is going. Uh, it's hard to trade players making $20 million a year. So when teams need a shakeup, they often fire the coach. It's not fair, but it's how the business works. The Sixers are six in the East, and they visit the Bucks tomorrow. Today, reporters asked Brett Brown if he's concerned about his job security. I'm worried about going to Milwaukee and feeling proud to coach the team that we competed in a way that they usually do compete with the fourth best defensive team in the NBA. And th that's where I'm at. I, 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 I'm not young anymore and I'm perfectly um, content, like speaking, just like we're speaking. I, I, I see the world as I should see it. And my job is to coach this team and to get them playing at a level that they're capable of and remind them of that always and remind them of that when they're not. Now, under Brett Brown, the Sixers have back-to-back 50-win -back seasons for the first time since 1986. However, he's been the head coach for seven years. Given how the team has played recently, a 31-point loss at Miami, Joel Embiid was asked if players have stopped listening to Brown's message. Yeah, uh, obviously that needs to be, you know, we haven't been winning. Um, our offense has not been good. But I always say, um, you know, coaches are not out there to make shots for us. They don't make plays. Uh, you know, they, could, they can do a better job, you know, of uh, you know, setting everything up. Um, but at the end of the day, we make the plays.